welcome back to Karen Creek. So today on this episode, ooh, we hear that we got some storms rolling in. Storms rolling in hot. It's Friday night. We love Friday nights. Everybody loves Friday nights. Saturday nights too. We love every day. So let's go inside this dark barn, this lighting. Let's get some lights on. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You guys pay attention. Now listen up. Everybody listen up. You listen up too. We've got these horse stalls that we got on Miss Kim's birthday we got started on. And this is about all the further we got. We've got these posts. We've got these things framed in. So what we're going to do, I can hear the rain on the roof now. We're going to cut some boards that goes up and down here. We're going to enclose these stalls this weekend. And maybe even get to making these slider doors. I'm not sure about that. So we've lacked an episode here for the last week or so. I went on a golf trip with seven of my good friends. We had a ton of fun. I cleaned house. I came back. Broker than I went, but I had fun. So in the past week, I've been just cleaning up. We've done some mowing. You know, it's winding up. The year's winding up here. Done a little catch-up mowing. Might finish some bush hogging this weekend. But uh, fall is a great time of the year. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. So in this episode, we're going to get these horses, get those stalls enclosed. Make everybody happy. No, don't make you happy. Hmm. All right. I've got some lumber up in the mill shop already because we got the rain coming. So the good news is I'll have a rainy day project. A rainy evening project. Before the skies open up and we get downpoured on, let's run back and take a peek at the golf hole construction. Show you guys what we got going on back there. Looking back towards the mill shop. Bam. Did you guys know it's man code when you drive a golf cart, you always gotta have your foot out like that? Man code. Sorry, Kenzie, but I have to go to a wedding now. So progress on these are going to be at a halt for the rest of the day. This is Saturday now, Saturday afternoon. Uh, so what's going to happen now, i got the one more to put together. Got everything cut, just got to put together. We'll have a trim board that goes here around the top. Now I'm going to probably get EMT electrical steel conduit, and we'll space that out 
this bottom trim will drill holes. So probably every four inches we'll have a piece of pipe up and down. And that what holds that pipe in? Those holes I drill in this bottom piece and top piece. And once we screw that top piece and bottom piece on, it'll hold them steel bars in place. So we should be able to wrap this up tomorrow on Sunday. Fall has finally arrived here in Southern Ohio. Uh, it's like 50 degrees, which feels cold now. You know, coming out of winter, if it was 50 degrees, we'd think it was a heat wave. We'd be out golfing and stuff. But now, going into winter, 50 degrees feels cold. So we're going to go to the wedding, kick our heels up, and we'll see you back here at the mill shop in the morning. Sunday morning back from the wedding and we're ready to finish up this last door frame and I went to Lowe's this morning I got our, our uh, bars we're gonna try to get this on day too let's get into it I don't know if I noticed or showed you guys but I am using glue the Craig jig mixed with this glue makes for a strong strong joint Use a little bit on there Get this side too. Tap his baby out. That'll make for a nice tight fit. I'm probably gonna get in trouble on YouTube because the music's in the background. I don't think I told you guys. I'm using poplar. This is some poplar. Uh, some poplar I had left over. Uh, one inch thick. One inch thick material. We better turn this down. YouTube does not like copyright stuff like that. I did want to mention a couple things. I went, when I was at Lowe's getting the conduit for our bars, um, they didn't have the hanger systems to hang these doors. These doors will be sliders, so they're gonna to slide to open. Uh, so, probably gonna to have to go to Buckeye Metal. That's where we get our metal. It's an Amish uh, run place where we get metal in, the, in these parts anyways. But I'm pretty sure they'll have some track systems that we can hang these doors with. So, I'll probably have to wait and do that tomorrow. I don't know if I have time tomorrow, but should. Something else, at the wedding last night, uh, talked to several people that watch our channel, Ignition 8. Uh, he was at the wedding, got to talk to him for a while, and a sleeper pick was Ed Letter. So Ed, if you're watching, thanks for watching, bud. Ed's a neat guy. He's a very neat person. Uh, it was Ed's granddaughter. They got married last night. And another thing, my wife has not been out here. She's not even seen the doors. I don't think she knows what I'm doing. She's not been out here. You know, she stopped out Friday night for a minute. Uh, she didn't come out Saturday yesterday, and then I suppose she'd be out here sometime today. All right, so this wood, this poplar wood, has been stacked and covered for probably six months or so. Let's check the moisture content in it. It feels pretty dry. So we're just going to shove this in real good. 18%. That's not too far above our ambient moisture content uh, just for this area. So it's going to shrink a little bit. It definitely is going to shrink a little bit, but that's going to be okay. It's not gonna affect the durability of our project. All right, so now we're gonna cut the trim. We're gonna make, basically make a frame for this window area. We're gonna have to get the table saw off this project, so it's gonna start ripping the board down.
comes the part I'm not looking forward to. Now I've got to pre-drill our holes for our bottom top plate. Then we've got to cut the conduit. And I think you guys will finally see what I was talking about as far as making this, this cage. So I think I'm going to take a smaller bit, pre-drill the center. But I've never built anything like this, so. If you're watching it to learn, let's wait and see how it all comes out before you jump into your project. Maybe we'll have some advice at the end of it to tell you what not to do. All right, hopefully I've got this bit low. It's supposed to be a speed bit. All right, that one back. Not bad at all. Still getting jammed up. Okay, this could clearly be the best part of the video. So that one's not fit, and let's take it out and trim it up. That one got in there, but it's damn tight. Hammer again. The next one will go smoother. All right, you mopo, I end up beating you, I got you. So that's what we're looking for. Now in a drawing, I put a like a cross member for decorations, but I don't think I'm gonna do that unless Miss Kim really wants it. See, the beauty of YouTube, I showed you that first one. If I'm doing multiple tasks, usually I'll do the first one without recording it, <laughs> or not show you guys, I'll edit it out. So today you got to see firsthand mess up. Now I'm on my last one, and I finally got it figured out. So, here we go. So this is way easier. Slide that on, take this out. Ugh. Fifty-six seconds. One more quick thing to mention here up in the mill shop. It's just absolutely wonderful the things that this wood miser affords us to do, like these horse stall doors, the horse stall sidings, this mill shop. Uh, we've made some videos on the wood miser. Uh, we're soon to get back on the wood miser, get some more wood miser action. I know you guys really love the wood miser in action, as do I. So, uh, just wanted to take a quick minute to mention about the wood miser and how handy it is. To be able to use it to make stuff usable products i will say on your property all right so i think that's pretty much the finished product that's about all i can do with these in the mill shop 
I will have to start searching for the hardware, the sliding hardware that goes up top, uh, figure out how we're going to lock these. But those should fit nice down in the horse stalls. And we have all the other components down there cut and ready. Now we're going to have to move down to the horse barn and work down there. Well, it turns out time got away from us on this project. For now, that's all we're going to have time for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Cairn Creek, over and out. Boom!